Initially, when we got involved, one of the first things we did was a very detailed study into the history of the building and also the history of the site and the area. Um, and this is a very interesting part of London with a, a very long history. So originally this area would have been part of the Roman and Saxon foreshore, um, part of the settlement of, of London, um, which means there's a potential for all sorts of interesting archaeological finds on the site. Um, then after that, um, the site was developed as a place called the Savoy um, Manor or Savoy Palace in the um, 13th century, um, so in the 1250s. And by, by the 1300s, it had developed into what was described as the fairest manor in England. And that was a very prestigious building. But then that was destroyed in the late 1300s. And the site was then gradually developed after that. Um, the embankment was built in the 1800s, which, which created this very important site and very valuable location. And then in the late 1800s, um, it was developed um, as Savoy Place by the Royal College of Surgeons and the Royal College of Physicians who originally designed it as an examination hall. Um, so all of this space was to be used for their examinations of all their doctors. Um, in the early 1900s it was then taken over by the Institution of Electrical Engineering um, who turned it into their headquarters. Um, and when they did that, they did various alterations to the building, including rebuilding the original lecture theatre to make it a little bit larger, and also remodelling the entrance to turn it into the form it, it's still in today. And then in the 1950s, they found they were outgrowing the building, so they undertook more major alterations. Um, they expanded the lecture theatre again um, and created the car park in the basement. They also converted the attic space into what's now the third floor, all to give them more room. Um, there have been more alterations since then, and then now we're, we're creating the next major phase of the alteration. So I think one of the important lessons from this is that this building has always changed as its use has changed and as the requirements have changed. And so what we're doing now is just the next phase in its development to make it fit for purpose in the 21st century and to create it, turn it into a state-of-the-art building.